Okay, hello everyone. Uh, this is just a quick overview of the new Gearbest laptop, uh, KUUK1, which I'm probably going to call Kuki, uh, as it's, well, kind of hard to pronounce. So, okay, let's open up the Kuki. Let's see what's inside. So, uh, opening it up, we can see that the laptop comes well packaged. That's good. And then we have the usual poorly translated uh, instructions and the charger. Okay. So on this charger, it comes with the US plug, but they do send you the uh, adapter. So I've already plugged in the adapter here. So this is not a true unboxing then. Uh, here's the warranty card. Doesn't say much. It's actually completely empty. Uh, the instructions, not too much stuff here. Uh, like they say, uh, wish using happy. And uh, let's get the box out of the way. Here's the laptop itself inside the protective plastic. And it comes with this pretty nice protective sleeve. This is cool. And uh, here we have the laptop itself. And uh, here you go. Let's see how it works. Okay, so when I turn this laptop on, uh, you're quickly going to see that it's the display, unlike what they claim in the advertisement. Yeah. Here you can actually see it clearly. It's not an IPS display. Uh, so when I turn the screen, you can clearly see how the colors shift quickly, especially when you don't look at it from a direct angle. When you look at it slightly from below, the colors shift really quickly. Left and right, the display is not that bad. I mean, it's, it's still bad, it's a TN display, not an IPS one, but uh, it's not as bad as you might think beforehand. But uh, anyway, so this is the BIOS. Uh, I thought I'd quickly show you guys what's available here. So on some Chinese laptops, you get the, like the, basically the unlocked BIOS, where you can change all kinds of settings. Uh, this is really locked down. The firmware version here is 10.0.55.3000 and uh, well, from here you can also see the specs. We have uh, 8 gigs of RAM with the uh, Intel Core i5-5257U CPU. So that's like just as they said in the description. Uh, but yeah, here's the thing. there's really no options available here. It's like really simple. You can change the boot options. That's good. So it's it's possible. And also select fast boot. I'll, I'll check out what that actually means. But that's pretty much the only option apart from the boot options that you can change. And uh, on this machine, I have the 512 gigabyte SSD installed from the factory. Uh, the interesting thing is that I ordered the 256 gigabyte version. For some reason, they sent me the two, uh, 512 gig one. Not that I'm complaining, like it's, uh, you know, good for me. And uh, let's see, so here we're going to boot uh, Windows 10. And here's the keyboard. So, the keyboard feel is actually really good. The keys have uh, quite good travel, and I really like the inclusion of the numbers here. Uh, there's some function keys up top, and the backlight, while you can't really see it now, works really well in uh, low-lit situations. I'd say the keyboard is actually pretty much the best part about this laptop. So. Prior to this one, I had a, another Chinese laptop, uh, the Chumper EasyBook 3 Pro. And on that one, the keyboard really sucked. So the problem was that it 
missed some of my key inputs when I typed too fast, which was actually not that fast. But on this one, it works great. Uh, there's no missed keys. Like when you type really fast, it misses nothing. And uh, it just honestly feels really nice typing on this laptop. And here's the basic info about the computer. So as you can see, Intel Core i5, 5257U CPU and uh, 8 gigs of RAM and Windows is activated. So after reinstalling Windows 10, it did ask me for the product key during the installation. Uh, I've never seen that during an installation of Windows 10 before, but I don't know if that's a change in the installer or if there's something about this laptop that prompted Windows to ask for the key. But as you can see, it says down there, Windows is activated. So I could just skip the activation and uh, it never prompted me again. I just installed Windows normally and uh, now it's working. Okay, and here's the back of the laptop. So uh, here are the speaker grills. The sound is actually okay. I mean, on par with any other laptop I've ever used. Not the greatest, but not the worst. And uh, now we're going to open the laptop up. So I've already removed the screws. You have the, I think it's around 10 or 12 screws around here, all around the laptop. I'm sorry about the autofocus. And then you have <clears throat> two screws under this nub here and two screws under this one, but nothing under the top ones. So in total, I think it's around 16 screws. So now we can get the thing open. And here we see the guts. Okay, so to make it short and sweet, it's a, it's a cheap laptop. It's a really cheap laptop. Uh, it works fine. The only problems I have with it uh, is the screen, which which is a really cheap uh, TFT screen. Uh, and the viewing angles are actually quite bad, especially from below and above. Uh, the other thing I don't like is the touchpad. Uh, I don't know what's going on with it. Maybe mine is faulty or something. But when I'm using the touchpad, uh, a lot of the time the cursor will just jump around the screen. So, uh, you know, I'm, I'm trying to find better drivers, but I don't think that's going to solve it since I have the same issue in both Windows and uh, Ubuntu. So I think it's just possibly a manufacturing fault or possibly just a really bad touchpad device. Uh, and another thing is the battery life. It's uh, not too good. It's not that good. Like Windows is saying it'll last for four and a half hours. That's, I think, I'd say it will last like half that, two and a half hours max. It's not, not that good. And I mean, it can be too good since uh, it's using a pretty old Core i5 processor, which is, I, I believe it's quite the power hog. So with this battery, it's, it's not going to last. Uh, the build quality, it's pretty solid actually. It's uh, aluminum or aluminum, depending on how you want to pronounce it. Uh, it works fine. It, it looks good. Uh, I like the fact that there are no logos here anywhere or anything like that. It's actually pretty cool. And uh, it really feels premium. It feels hefty. Uh, although, like I noticed in the teardown, that most of the weight comes from uh, the fact that there are some metal bars <laughs> installed inside. So, you know, it wouldn't be this heavy, but they've added some weight where they could have added a little bigger battery. But, uh, yeah, it's, it's okay, you know. I, I wouldn't recommend it to anyone, but... If you've already ordered it from Gearbest, uh, as long as you're fine with the screen and the touchpad, like if you have a separate mouse to use, 
Uh, you should be okay with it. Okay, that's all for now. Thanks.